Welcome to Synagogues of Illinois, Part 26. In this episode, we'll focus on the handful of Jewish houses of worship in both the south and western suburbs. We'll start out in Olympia Fields, which is in the southern area of the suburbs. And we're looking at Temple Anche Shalom Beth Torah. It is a Reformed congregation. It was founded in November of 1942 and was originally located in Chicago Heights. The location shown here in Olympia Fields was constructed in 1964. Beth Torah, which had been in a Chicago Southside neighborhood called Beverly, merged with it in 1974. The facilities were renovated in 1998. Shabbat services are typically held on Friday evenings. There will also be an occasional Saturday morning service geared towards the Hebrew school students. Paul Kaplan has been its rabbi since July of 2000. Rabbi Emeritus is Donald N. Gluckman. Our next location is the south suburb of Homewood and appears to be home to a couple of synagogues. The first is Congregation Am Echad, a conservative of affiliated synagogue. Shabbat services are held on Saturday mornings. They rent space from Congregation B'nai Yehuda Beth Shalom, which is a Reformed temple. Karmit Harari is the rabbi for both congregations. She has been so since July of 2013. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings. There are some Saturday morning services, but we're not sure if they're held in conjunction with Amachad or as separate events. But there is talk that the two congregations will formally merge. We're going to jump over to the western suburb of River Forest, and we're looking at West Suburban Temple Har Zion. This conservative-affiliated congregation has services on a daily basis in the mornings, as well as both a Friday evening and a Saturday morning Shabbat service. Adir Glick has been its rabbi since August of 2015. Prior to him was Dr. Victor A. Miralman, Rabbi Emeritus. This congregation received its charter in 1935. The building shown here was constructed in 1951, and the congregation claims to have about 400 families. A couple blocks away in neighboring Oak Park is the Oak Park Temple B'nai Abraham Zion. It is a Reformed congregation. It is a result of a merger that goes all the way back to 1919. Zion Congregation was founded in 1864, and B'nai Abraham Congregation had been founded in 1871. It was originally known as the Washington Boulevard Temple on the west side, and it moved to Oak Park in 1957. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. Max Weiss has been its rabbi since 2009. Rabbi Emeritus is Gary S. Gerson. Well, with enough Jews in the Oak Park River Forest area, as well as the adjoining western suburbs, there must be a Chabad branch as well. And there is. It's the Chabad Jewish Center of Oak Park River Forest. Rabbi Yitzchak Bergstein is the director. And as they like to say, there is a selection of kosher foods at the local grocery stores, but they're only 11 miles from West Rogers Park, Skokie, and Evanston, where you can find all the kosher food to your heart's content. And here's a little bit of history. Westchester is a suburb alongside the Eisenhower Expressway, directly west of the city just a couple miles to the south of Oak Park. It used to have a significant Jewish population. The building shown here was at one time B'nai Israel of Proviso. At various times it had both Orthodox and traditional services. The building was constructed around 1962 and hidden behind the sign of the name of the church is a Jewish star. We don't know for sure when this congregation ceased to exist, possibly by the late 1970s or early 1980s. One year, my father was the cantor for the High Holidays. For many years, Paul Greeman was the rabbi, very much endeared by this congregation. Our last stop is going to take us to a unique look indoors of the congregation Eitz Chaim of DuPage County, located in Lombard. It is due west of Westchester and is a Reformed congregation of more than 550 families. Founded in 1970, 
Andrea Kuznowski is now senior rabbi. Her assistant is Frederick Camille. Stephen Bob is Rabbi Emeritus. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings in various formats and on Saturday mornings when there is a bar or bat mitzvah celebration. This concludes our look at both the west and south suburbs. Any omissions are accidental. We next check out the Jewish houses of worship in the northern suburbs of Chicago. See you soon.